How's it going? Okay. Very good. Good. Uh, Michael Conti for Canapi Spain, sitting in for, for Guy. Um, congratulations on your new movie. Thank you. Um, what can you tell us about the character you're playing? Well, I play uh, a SWAT leader and the father figure of a whole SWAT team. Um, and our job is we are kind of the elite DEA uh, uh, SWAT team that infiltrates cartels, drug cartels. Um, and our job is basically to bust the drug cartel. But it shows in the movie what happens, you know, when you do that. What happens when, uh, uh, you know, you cross the line too many times. When you get more and more into that world, into the dark world of uh, the cartel, and what consequences it has on your personal life, on your family, them getting kidnapped, them getting killed, uh, your own members of the SWAT team getting killed. You know, so it deals with the real world rather than it just being a straightforward action movie where there's good against evil. And um, how dark do these characters actually become? These, these. Well, I mean, in, in this movie, the characters cross the line too many times, so they, they so there is no more clear, you know, kind of good versus evil. I mean, they both have the potential of being very evil. Did you uh, did you work out for this movie, or did you? Did they... Well, I, I always work out. I uh, work out every day from uh, in, in the morning cardiovascular training, and then at night I do the weight training. Uh, so I'm always pretty ready to go with a movie, with an action movie like that. The only thing is, is that. In this particular case with Sabotage, we did some extra training you know, with the SWAT team, LA SWAT team. Uh, we worked with uh, people that uh, were Navy SEALs and uh, people that can really be the technical advisors and to show us how it is done in reality. So we don't just do kind of the typical Hollywood moves, but we, we show realism. The director, David Ayer, is a big, big believer in realism. I mean, he wants to show the real stuff and very gritty. Uh, how has the movie business changed since you, since you came back from being governor? Well, I think that today uh, movies are made for less money a lot of times, even though in, in general the big movies have now gone up to uh, a cost of 200 to 300 million dollars a movie. But the, 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 the non-franchise movies, I would say, are now done for half the price. Like a movie like this would have normally cost, in my days before I became governor, a hundred million dollars in the 90s. Today you have to do this movie kind of for 50 million dollars.